All right, guys, this is the hardest question on this worksheet. I had to actually use like a second page for calculations. There's no way the paper I gave you is enough space. So let's think this is a much more complex problem. So we've got a rocket, right? And, uh, find my rocket. Okay. And it, at first, it accelerates at 12 meters per second squared, right? And it does this for 29 meters. That makes sense? So what is the speed of the rocket just before it hits the ground? Because let's think about this. He's going to go up and then fall. So he starts at zero, right? But he accelerates for the first 29 meters. And then he rises and then he falls. But he's going to continue. He's going to have a velocity uh still going upwards but he's accelerating for the first 29 meters so what is the speed of the rocket just before it hits the ground so the first thing i have to do is to find the velocity of the boost before it turns off so when you turn the gas off so to speak at 29 meters there's going to be an initial velocity in the upward direction all right but then gravity will fight it so how do we solve that? All right. So we have to use our equation of all we have is velocity, and you know, it's this one: v two squared equals v initial squared plus two a d. Now, in this case, the a is not nine point eight; it's twelve, right? And his initial velocity, of course, we know was zero. And so now, what we want to do is we want to solve for the velocity. So once you know that number, once you know VI or V2, right, you're going to have that number. You're going to do that, and you're going to plug that in, and you're going to find the top height. So that's sort of step one, if you will. Step two is find the top height. I need to find out how high he is before he starts to fall, right? So now what I'm going to do is, again, we're going to use the same equation, but now we know something. V2 squared equals the initial squared plus 2a delta d, right? And now I'm solving for delta d. And I'm going to take the this number, right, and plug that into here. And then I can solve for, and then we know this is what's going to, at the very top of the, of the apex of his flight, this is going to be 0. And I can solve for delta d. That make sense? And then what you're going to do is that you're, you're going to take this number, right, and you're going to take 29 meters, because that's we knew that he started accelerating at 29 meters, and then we're going to add that to this number, to whatever this number is, and that's going to be your total height. But we're still not done, because we now, once we know total height, we have to then do a, basically a free fall problem, right, where we can say, you know, V2 squared equals the initial squared plus 2a delta d. Now, once we know this number, this is our delta d, and we can solve for the uh, final velocity of the... So initial velocity at the tape top, when it's at the top of the ball game, is zero, right? And so we're trying to solve for the final velocity, but you needed to know what this is. And now, of course, A is not 12 anymore, but now we're, since he's falling in the presence of gravity, we'll use 9.8. So that's all just to get letter A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tricky, isn't it? That's a long, long process. And then to find the total, all right, so let's look at part B now. Let me just clear the screen here. So part B, it asks for the total duration of the flight. So what we need to do is we need to break down the flight into three categories. If you think about it right now, here's our rocket, and he, he goes up. We need to find the time it takes to do the first 29 meters, and then we need to find the time it takes to do the up and down piece, right, to just to get to here. Actually, it could just be the up piece, just the top, pardon me. I think I'd just go to the top, how long until he gets to there, and then uh, from 29 or, yeah, from 29 meters to our final uh, displacement, 
And then a third thing is how long it takes him to fall. So you have to break it down, if you will, into three categories. And you're going to use the same equation, well, almost the same equation every time, right? You're going to use the first in part, call this part, you know, one, if you will. What equation are you going to use? Uh, you know, delta D. We know this is the one, we haven't used this one very often, but you'll use it here. Equals to one half times V2 plus V1 times delta T. And you're solving for delta T. Because we know what the distance is from the previous problem, right? So you're going to solve for T and find that number. You're going to add it eventually. For the second part, it's really the same ball game, right? This is to find T to the top. You'll do one half. And again, the numbers from the last thing matter, right? Times V2 plus V initial times delta T. And then, the th and then solve for delta T, or you're going to add this number and this number eventually. And for the third part, now this one's the uh, same. I guess it's the same equation every time, is you know all these numbers, uh, and then you add them all up. You'll use this equation also again here. So it's like, but you got to think through the three segments, and this is the master equation. I hope that helps. It's kind of a long explanation. This is a tricky one. The hardest question probably we've faced so far this year.